Uh, well, the law school I went to initially for my first degree um, was actually a college in Israel and it was like any other law school, but there was a very strong emphasis on public international law there, which led me to space law because space is part of public international law. Space doesn't belong to anyone. Um, you cannot have uh, sovereign territories in space. That's one of the most special things about outer space. And of course, from there, the road to Leiden University was, I guess, easier to make since I already knew I want to study international law. During university, uh, the master's program, I actually had to do a very short internship with a company which does something which is connected either to the aviation industry or to the space industry. And I was very fortunate to find a company which I still work uh, with today, more than five years after. And there were a bunch of very exciting young people doing small satellites when this business only began more or less. And there was nobody supporting them on the law and policy aspects. So I basically just went right in and started to work, which I still do. Uh, one of the most interesting things I was involved in work, or one of the most exciting missions we had at work, was um, a launch we had three years ago, and there were a lot of small satellites on that launch. It was our biggest launch campaign to date with many small satellites. And contractually and logistically, the whole operation was very uh, complex. We were one of the first in the world to launch so many satellites at once. And we had also three Dutch satellites, which was nice you know, for uh, the local spirit of the people, I guess. Um, and so once we sat all together, you know, me and the engineers that worked on that mission, and we got a confirmation uh, from Russia that all the satellites were launched we were extremely happy and it was a huge success.